fall for you than, than last fall, just as far as being ready to go and things like that. Uh, well, I'm back. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I haven't actually went through a fall until I think my freshman year. Really? So um, I've been rehabbing every fall since then, and uh, it's going to be great to just be back in uh, full strength uh, for this fall. We saw you in Arkansas. I mean, what, what was the, kind of the summer like for you? Well, they shut me down right after that game, after we unfortunately dropped that final. Um, so I've been shut down uh, for a little while after that, a few weeks, and then uh, picked back up and have been uh, gearing up, ready for the fall uh, um, since about the middle of the summer. So it's been good. Feel good? Feel like you're 100%? Yeah, uh, yeah we, uh, we're, we're getting there for sure. Yeah. Um, we still got a lot of ramping up to do, but um, we're definitely on the on the right track to, to be ready come uh, springtime. Yeah. So. Seems like so often when guys get hurt, they kind of fade into the background. That wasn't the case for you last year. Does it feel like you're just kind of continuing uh, in that regard? Is, is yeah, that kind of off the field leader. Right? Yeah, I mean, uh, regardless of what I'm doing, if I'm you know able to pitch or if I'm you know a dugout guy, I, I just try to lift my teammates up as much as I can and, uh, and uh, just try to try to be a great piece of the team and help out everyone uh, the best way I can. So, it seems like that's pretty natural for you. <laughs> You know, loosen things up with some humor. Yeah, do whatever yeah. You know. I mean, uh, whatever it takes. Honestly, that's a that's a big uh, that's a big quote with this, with this team. Whatever it takes, and uh, uh, I really embody that and try to take that into each day of practice, game, whatever it might be. So I really try to uh, take that in. So. You guys lost so many kid, the vocal leaders yeah. after all three captains. Is that something that you consciously maybe not to replace those guys, but yeah. to kind of take that mantle over? Really yeah, well? and they they did a they did a great job of you know of, of help helping uh, build this culture uh, we have uh, instilled in this program. So uh, yeah, it was tough to lose them, but I think everybody's on board with uh, some of the things they, they came in and put into this program and uh, we're carrying that uh, sort of legacy on for them. So it's, I think we're, there it's, we're gonna miss them, but uh, we're not gonna miss them, you know, come springtime, you know what I mean? So we'll be all right. Getting to a regional final last year for the first time in over a decade, do you kind of feel like, I don't want to say bare minimum, but do you kind of feel like that's kind of the expectation now with this group? Yeah, I think that's going to be the expectation uh, for many years to come is, uh, is get that automatic regional bid uh, first and foremost, and then uh, obviously get the job done, hopefully at home uh, this time around, and, uh, and then moving forward and get that trip to I-80. So, uh, um, yeah, so we're uh, that, that will be the expectation, and uh, I'm we're not going to expect anything less. So. I know that's something Coach Bull talks to us a lot about. It. We expect to host regionals. We want to do that. Is that something he kind of just talks to you guys about a lot every day? I Omaha office. gets talked about every day. Yeah. Every day, whether it's in the uh, in the weight room, uh, where you know I got to go write Omaha on the whiteboard, or uh, you know we're up here running and at six in the morning, it's talked about. You know, the last leg of whatever conditioning we're doing is you know that that trip to Omaha and that third lap or whatever it might be. So. Uh, it gets talked about quite frequently around here, and um, um, you know it's it's always in everyone's head. What's that like as a player to make you know just not shy away from that? You know, a lot of teams may say, "Well, we don't want to look too far ahead." Yeah. This, that, the other. What's that like just as a player to, to hear your coaches talk about that and kind of embrace? It? We don't even see us looking ahead. It's really just uh, what we do every single day, uh, and how we go about our business, and uh, um, a lot like. Omaha is the expectation, so uh, it's it's not looking ahead really. It's just uh, going about your business every day in a way that's going to get you to Omaha come uh, summertime next year. How's it kind of been having Rob Childers around this summer? And it's what, been, what has he kind of brought to the table? Too? It's been fantastic. He he has obviously a wealth of knowledge, and uh, I, I think everyone's on board with trying to pick his brain. Um, he really is a baseball genius if, if you get to uh, hear him talk. So. Uh, um, it's been really nice having him around, and he's already, you know, brought some of that intensity that he just brings naturally to the program, and that's very helpful for for all of us to, uh, you know, buy into. So, I mean, you're an Omaha kid. I mean, when, when you see this summer that he's coming in, I mean, mm -hmm. what was kind of your initial reaction? Well, I, you know, it was. Uh, I was really excited seeing that. It was, uh, um, like you said earlier, you know, we're we're missing a lot of guys, and it almost, you know, replaces some sort of void, you know. Um, and he's going to be huge to have around daily. Um, you know, he's a player development guy now, and uh, but he, he still approaches it, you know, with that coaching mindset, and uh, I think that's going to really help us out down the road. Again. Might be too early to know, but do you have an idea what your role might be once once you do get into the spring, or are you even worried about that? Uh, not, we're not worried about that right now. No roles have been, uh, you know, obviously determined yet, which is uh, great because that's what the ball's for, for everyone to, you know, battle and compete for these spots out here. So 
worry about that come springtime, but right now is the uh, the competition and development piece for us all. So. What what'd you take personally, just out of Fayetteville, what you're able to do down there? Just a bunch of bu bunch of guys that, that didn't back down from anything. Um, biggest stage, I think, you know, even when it comes to, to Omaha, I think nobody will play in an environment that hostile against us until you make it to the bigs and you're playing in the playoffs uh, with all those fans, you know, against you all at once. So um, I think we didn't back down, and that's a, that's a huge takeaway from, from that team, and we're excited to get back to work. That's a competition this fall. How, how is that even maybe amped up a little more when there are so many openings, right? Yeah. A, lot, a lot of the rotation has moved on. Yeah. Schmelen box gone, a lot of, a lot of chances. Yeah, yeah we, saw, we saw that last fall, too. Um, like I said, I wasn't a part of that, you know, trying to compete for spots at that time. But uh, but it was like that last fall where there's a lot of openings and guys really, you know, uh, went after it and competed. It, at, at, sorry, competed. And uh, and I think that's we're going to see a, a lot of the same this fall. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see how it sorts itself out. So. When, at what point last fall did you feel like, okay, we'll be all right? These guys that are coming in. First week. First, absolutely. It doesn't take long. You know, you see, you see the buy-in right away, and if it, it, you know, it might take a couple weeks with this team, but um, that that last year's team was so special, and uh, we got a lot of returners that will bring that same mindset uh, back. Um, and I think it's going to be fairly quickly when we uh, when we realize we're going to be pretty good. So, thanks, guys. Awesome. Appreciate it.